video. So last video, the video told you just to refresh your memory. We talked about normal saline, right? And we said we have a container and we put a liter of water in that container to create a bag of 0 0.5, uh, sorry, 0.9% NaCl or normal saline solution. So this is one liter of free water. So simply we said just add sodium and chloride. Basically we added added nine gram right to the one liter of fluids and that resulted that translated into 154 milli equivalent of sodium and 154 milli equivalent of chloride so the regular normal saline solution they have no potassium and no buffer to counter acidosis so no lactate no bicarb this is the regular normal saline solution and we said the osmolarity here is 154 plus 154 equal to 308 which is close to the body one which is around 290 even the body one is not constant goes up and down in that range so because the tonicity is similar to the body we said this is an isotonic fluid and because the tonicity is similar to the body we said the amount of free water when we say free water that doesn't have any osmotically active agents is free water contained in this normal scene almost equal zero or very minimal okay so that's about normal saline and last thing about normal saline we talked about is because it has minimal or no free water because of this it can lead to hypernatremia and because of the lack of the buffer it can lead to normal hyperchloremic which means the chloride usually high normal anion gap metabolic acidosis and some of you may say no there is uh, that's not the cause for that i know and there's other theories behind it but i want to just remind that this is the is just an easy way to remember that normal saline can cause hyperchloremic and normal anion gap metabolic acidosis and usually this happens with larger volume of saline given or if the saline given for longer period of time you will see the chloride uh, going up and the bicarb going down all right so that's normal saline now let's bring the same container and i'm gonna put a liter of free water here okay and now we're going to add half of this instead of 90 gram going to add around 4.5 right sorry um 4.5 gram which will be translated into 77 milli equivalent of sodium and 77 milli equivalent of chloride the reason we call it 0.9% here for normal saline because we put 9 gram in one liter here this is exactly half of this so this is why we call it half normal saline and if you calculate the osmolar 77 plus 77 that's 154 milli equivalent right this is less than 290 way less than 290 so the osmolarity of or osmolarity of this solution is less than the body the tonicity is less that's why we call this solution is hypotonic okay now so that's the first thing the second thing this isotonic solution here we said it has almost zero to minimal water here this is almost close to half of the body tonicity 
that tells us that this half an S has usually around half a liter or 500 cc of free water. So each liter of half an S has half a liter of free water. That's why we will not see no increase in sodium. Actually, we use it to treat hyponatremia. Sorry, hypernatremia, right? And because this is a hypotonic solution, remember the rule we said, the more hypotonic solution, the less it stays in the extracellular space. So half an S has a higher tendency to go intracellularly. Remember all of those, we'll come to the practical implications of all of that uh, soon. And th there is no potassium in the regular solution and no buffer. But the risk of acidosis with this half an S is less compared to regular normal saline. I'm gonna end this video by saying if we add let's say 40 milli equivalent of potassium to this solution then simply add this to the so we need to add this to 154 154 is 40 and that's 194 that's tonicity wise almost similar to three-fourth normal saline right see how we play with this so i could create something similar to three-fourth normal saline if i understand that the principle and that means the free water on three-fourth normal saline will be around 250 mil in each liter simple math so you can add any, any osmotically active agent you add it here will affect will add to this number and decrease the amount of free water so remember that thanks for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released glad to have you on board